Well guys, uh, I managed to get up to the big stack and then I managed to go halfway through the uh, big gun ridge. However, I then took a slip and decided it would be a good time to break my arm. Okay, so here we are. It's currently Mother's Day, 27th of March, it's Sunday. Uh, yesterday I had the accident on the, on the mountain where I dislocated the shoulder. Uh, the hospital said I need to be in this sling for uh, a month, which I don't know. So at the moment there is still movement, but I'm very, very limited. So I can't hold the arm out like this without supporting with this arm. Um, and there's lots of cracks. Um, Adhesive capsulitis, I believe is what it's called, it's like scar tissue. What I'm going to try and do is document as much as I can of this as, as my road to recovery. I like to think that I'm going to be out of this within within three weeks. I'm convinced, in fact I know, I'll be doing push-ups again, uh, hopefully in the next couple of months. And just a quick recap of what happened in case you didn't see. It was an incident I had on the mountains, two and a half thousand feet over there, and I uh, fell about eight feet, uh, dislocated the shoulder, and then I, I fortunately I was able to climb back down with the good hand, the left hand, but it took me nine hours ish. And they were slightly concerned that ligaments were completely stretched out, but I was carrying a very heavy bag, it's a 25 kg bag, so um, I think as well that that compression was helping keep the joint in, in place. This is the road to recovery, anyone can do it, it's just about commitment. spoke to the physio online and uh, we've had a little conversation about stretches. What I'm finding really annoying is the fact I have to be sitting down so much. I haven't stopped teaching so I have the sling on when I do the class, which is so annoying because I'm, I'm practicing what I can do on the floor here. Uh, I have new clients as well so I'm trying to show new people how to do exercises with one arm and it's, it's so awkward. You have good days and you have bad days. Okay, update. Uh, it's been two weeks now. I had my physio appointment. It's been two weeks since I had the accident and the physio has said that already I can actually lose the sling. I have the one where I'm just holding position here for the wall like this, which is great. And I press in as hard as I can to build up the, the strength back in the shoulder joint there. So I'm really pressing in into the shake in there. Quick update, um, again it's been a couple of weeks since my last physio appointment, he was getting me to basically wall my hands up the wall and then try and apply more pressure, like progressive overload in this shoulder. So what he wants to bring the arms up, same thing, and then come across and basically wait till it shakes, hold, then go back and, and reverse. Um, I'm able to do some push-ups on the floor now. The only thing I'm finding which is really annoying is this here. You see this drop here, this is the this dislocated shoulders here. So I have this arm completely straight like this, it's really annoying me. There's this drop here. So what I'm doing at night is trying to bring this arm across, lift it like that there, kind of like this, and then take the hand away. And immediately, uh, the sensation there in, in the arm is insane.
Okay, so it's currently the 23rd of May. Uh, it's actually my parents' anniversary, 41 years today, which is amazing. And it's also been seven weeks, give or take, seven weeks after my accident. Now I had three physio appointments. I have another physio appointment in another two weeks' time. Arm is amazing. Um, I'm even back doing the chin-ups. I'm doing chin-ups now, so it's got really, really, uh, it's gone really, really well, actually. So. This has been my friend for the past three weeks, two, two to three weeks. It's a two kg weight. Uh, it's been 10 weeks now since I had the issue here with the arm, the dislocation. You can see there's, there's a huge improvement with the arm now, so it's basically back to normal. Uh, but I'm just trying to get more of this definition I have here on this side, so it's a case of just trying to build up the muscle. But two kg weights, it sounds like nothing, but simply just bringing the arm out and back. And here is doing the job. Coming forward is doing a job. Okay guys, so there we have it. That marks literally 10 weeks since I had the dislocation. Uh, within the eight weeks, I was already doing the, the push-ups. Again, lots of continuous stretching, four physio sessions. Uh, I've gone through print of the uh, resistant bands as well to stretch it all out. But I would say I'm pretty much exactly where I was before I started. So there we go, just goes to show. Within 10 weeks, I'm back to where I was. Even again, doing the tuck planches like you saw uh, just there, the chin-ups, the push-ups. Fantastic. Of course, I think there's probably still a very small amount of movement that I can get from this, but I struggle to find where the pain is now. So there we are. It goes to show if you stay disciplined and you want it bad enough, you will get it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. We're back up on the hills in no time at all. Have an amazing day. See you again very soon.